Hey, welcome back to Atreyu News. New DNC, new DNC chair threatens President Trump. Tom Perez tells President Trump he will be his worst nightmare. That sounds like an open threat to me. Tom Perez says, call me Tom and don't get too happy. And I and Democrats united across the country will be your worst nightmare. And then Donald Trump comes back, of course. Always with the comeback. Congratulations to Thomas Perez, who has just been named chairman of the DNC. DNC. I could not be happier for him or for the Republican Party. And so true. For the progressive left, especially the far left, Tom Perez is probably the last person that they want to have any power. So, just another example of the DNC not learning from their mistakes. So keep it up, and I agree with Trump. This is good for the Republicans. Imam at DNC Prayer calls Jesus a Palestinian refugee. Well, that'll bode well with the Christians. Radical Imam declares Jesus a Palestinian refugee because he was born of brown skin and a threat. Uh, well, whether he was brown or white, we if don't have any record into, of it. Uh, the words in the Islamic tradition, where the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and all the messengers, he taught us that if the heart is sound and upright, then the entire body is sound and upright. And if the heart is corrupt and ill, then the entire body will suffer illness and corruption. And many times, the world that we see around us is a reflection of the human heart that exists throughout the world. So let us remember, what is prayer? Prayer is first a call upon God, a request that we put in front of God. And then we admit our mistakes. We, ad we have to admit our mistakes for the help of God to come. Let us look into the Bible in the book of Isaiah where the prophet Isaiah, he called amidst a national turmoil and he said, then you will call your Lord and the Lord will answer. You will cry, and he will say, here I am. But that's if, if you remove oppression from amongst you. That is if you start saying, yes, black lives matter. That is yes, if oh, you God. say, here yes, we go. all Muslim lives matter. That's when we start standing up for humanity with domestically and abroad. We stand for whole of humanity. See, he, he says all of humanity but notice what he said was very not inclusive. He said black lives matter, and then he said, he almost said all lives matter. No, no, he corrected that. All Muslim lives matter, and so on. This guy does not represent humanity. He represents the secular left, a very isolated ideology. Humanity. So the prophet Isaiah, he said, God will answer your call if you remove oppression amongst you. If you stop pointing fingers at others, if you stop speaking evil rhetoric and wickedness, and if you give yourself to the hungry and you pay people what they deserve. <clears throat> this, is, this is the call of God. And you satisfy the desire of those who are afflicted and seeking refuge. Because we know of a man, a brown-skinned man, who was considered a threat by the authorities. We know of a man, a brown-skinned Palestinian man, who was considered a threat and he was nothing but a refugee right and that is jesus <laughs> oh god it never ends with the left it's like it's so psychotic i can't help but laugh there's all there's only so much of the psychosis you can absorb being a sane person you almost have to just laugh it out of your system breaking rogue sheriff reverses course Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone reverses stance and will now cooperate with ICE. Oh, he's coming around. First of many, I'm sure. On Friday, the sheriff said he would transfer inmates in violation of federal immigration laws. As Central reported, Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone said Friday evening his, agents, his agency would begin transferring departing inmates potentially in violation of U.S. immigration law to federal officers within the walls of the country's jails. The announcement settles the main point of contention in a week-long stalemate between the Sheriff's Office and the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. 
On February 17th, Penzone said the sheriff's office was ending ICE courtesy holds in Maricopa County jails and begin freeing inmates who were suspected to be in the country illegally when a criminal court judge ordered their release. Penzone said he changed the policy under the threat of litigation and acted upon the advice of Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Before this policy change, an ICE detainer could keep such suspects in jail for up to 48 hours after their order released until ICE agents could pick them up. Federal judges across the country have found that practice violates an individual's constitutional right against being jailed without probable cause. After the change, ICE officials were not allowed inside the jails for the transfer of individuals from state to federal custody. Immigration authorities reluctant to approach the suspects in open area outside jail facilities only arrested a handful more than 50 former ICE detainers released after February 17th. So they're coming around. They're not really going to have much choice. There's too much power and there's too much people behind Trump to really deny him, at least indefinitely.